Hey, what's going on you guys? It's Andrew from Posh Designs and today I'm bringing at you guys a Photoshop tutorial brought to you guys by Daniel CS Player and he wrote me asking if I could show you guys how to make customized logos here in Photoshop. Um, now customized logos, it's um, great to watch Photoshop tutorials here on YouTube um, to kind of learn some creativity um, but you guys are not going to be able to use the logos obviously that I make because everyone's going to be using them. You want a logo that's going to define um, you as a company, you as a channel, you as an individual so I'm sure you guys can use some of the creativity um, that I brought to you guys in this tutorial um, but then again you guys are going to need to um, either learn how to uh, you know kind of put your own creative edge into um, your guys' logos or you guys are just going to have to hire someone kind of like me or some other graphic designer um, to make a logo for yourself so but without further ado guys let's just hop into Photoshop so right here um, you guys see that uh, on the left side I have just a regular old triangle um, and uh, then what I did is all I had to do is um, do some clipping some masking um, and now I have this nice logo over here um, it's kinda nice and colorful has a nice drop shadow um, and I just put aviator down at the bottom um, just because it kinda looked like it should have been for an A channel so um, but yeah so let's just hop right into the tutorial and let me just show you guys how I made this so it was really easy so I'm just gonna use this left um, triangle for my example so what I'm going to do is take um, right click on this uh, triangle to make a triangle just go down here to your shape tool um, go to polygon tool and select three slides right on up here so um, you can make a triangle. actually I'll just make another one for you so I'm gonna make it about that big um, is all I did uh, so what I'm going to also do is click on that shape three go to blending options and do a color overlay so I know where it's at and then I'm going to find this triangle so this triangle if I right click on it it's shape one and then okay so I have shape one right down here so what I want to do is I want to take shape three select shape one uh, hitting control and then you want to align them up um, perfectly so they're aligned now uh, the weird thing about triangles is that they actually don't align themselves right in the middle of it um, but so what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to key down so I'll key down right about there <clears throat> And then if that's where I want it to be, uh, then all I have to do is hit control and select on this picture. If you guys see this, it'll show that hand with kind of a dotted box. If you click on that, it's going to select that. So now we, what we want to do is hit this eye. It's going to disappear that triangle. We're going to go on to shape one, right click on it and rasterize layer. Then we're just going to hit delete and it's going to cut that uh, triangle right out of that triangle as well. So now we have um, kind of a full triangle going on here. So now what I can do is I can just delete shape three because I don't need it anymore. And now what I can do is start on cutting and masking. So what I need to do is just zoom in right about here. You want to go to your pen tool. Um, and actually for this first one, what we can do is we can uh, actually just take our selection tool shown right up here. So what I'm going to do is just select on that bottom line. And I'm going to cut maybe about that much out of it now. So we're just going to select on our shape one and delete. And as you see, we saw this little guy right here, so we're just going to re-delete it, like so. All right, so now we have that perfect cutout. Then what we want to do is we just want to take our pen tool, select that point, go down until we are on the edge of that triangle right here. So right about there. And then I want to just scroll on about over here, we'll say. Um, and then you just kind of want to eyeball it, like so then connect those right click say make selection say OK and hit delete and now you guys have um, around the same basis of what I did right here except on this one I made a little bit more of a uh, wider opening right here but now you guys have the same thing that I made um, with maybe three clicks so you guys made that really simple really easy uh, did not take time at all so if you guys wanted to add color now um, what you do is you'd add a new layer above shape one then you would take your pen tool again and just make some weird designs. So like on this one, um, I went like this, like that, and then I just did a curve. And I mean, you can do however big of an arc you want. Connect that. Go to fill path. Sorry, hit make selection, hit fill path. Then select whatever color you want. So let's say I want a uh, blue. We can say hit OK, OK. Uh, now that's going to go that. You want to right click, hit delete path. Then what we want to do is make sure that that layer two is above shape one and then hold down alt and if you go in between those layers you guys are going to see these two circles overlapping each other you just want to click 
and now it's going to mask um, to your guys' logo. So guys, um, that's pretty much the gif of it. Um, that's how I would make a, a creative logo um, and a really nice and simplistic logo. Um, and that's how a lot of graphic designers make logos, guys. Um, it's not hard to make um, a logo. It just takes time um, and effort, and you have to put a little bit more of a creative edge into it instead of um, kind of overthinking it. A lot of people overthink logos. Um, it's not hard, guys. Uh, you can make logos out of shapes, um, words, text. You can make logos out of anything. Um, so I hope this helped some of you guys who are uh, trying to learn how to make some logos um, Take a shot at it if you guys do find any creative um, ways on creating logos Please link your guys's logos in the uh, comment sections below um, send me a link uh, via Facebook Twitter um, so I can see them I I'd love to see what you guys come up with so if this tutorial did help you guys out though Please hit the thumbs up button. It really helps me out. It really keeps tutorials coming um, until next time guys My name is Andrew from Posh Designs. I'm just an 18 year old kid with a mean imagination and I'm signing out, guys. Astronome, my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh, oh, just let me oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh, oh, just let me oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh. Fuck all that shit, just let me go. Words and taste makers, makers, no chaser. Gets the blood flowing like a fucking pacemaker. Cut the middle man.